Well, the Water Basin Project uh, here is part of the Water Security Initiative at, at Harvard University. It was a spectacular project uh, this year, really from three perspectives. Uh, it was just wonderful pedagogy in terms of an educational experience uh, for the students. Uh, it promoted excellence uh, in academic scholarship, including legal scholarship, and, and no less importantly, um, it furthered important public service, a, a bridge really between pedagogy scholarship uh, and what's happening out in the world in terms of promoting better lawmaking on a very important uh, and critical issue for both the United States and for the world. The structure of this, of this project was truly extraordinary. We had five teams uh, of students from across the university who studied uh, five of the most important water basins uh, in the world. Uh, and these five teams really were from around the university. Every team had at least one law student, and sometimes there were two law students. And uh, there was uh, usually a student who was a postdoc uh, in engineering or in physics, or a PhD student in engineering or physics. There were students from the Kennedy School uh, there were students from the business uh, school, and every team also had at least one undergraduate. So we had five teams going to basins around the world. Uh, there was a team that went to the Murray Darling uh, in Australia, uh, a team that went to the San Francisco uh, in Brazil, uh, a team went to Indus uh, in Pakistan, and then a team here closer to home, one the Colorado and other the Mississippi River. And each team basically did the same thing. They traveled the basins. Uh, they traveled the basins. And along each basin, they visited with policymakers, stakeholders, uh, government officials um, around the basin, discover and learn for themselves what was happening at these basins, what the challenges have been historically, uh, what the challenges were now. And then every team came back at the end of January and they wrote up the results. They prepared these very significant uh, papers on each of the basins, again, the, the history of the basin, uh, the cross-cutting issues that were perceived around the basins, how the different basins in different parts of the world were facing some of the same sort of challenges of how to govern the basins and institutional design. They wrote these papers, and then they were presented the papers at a conference we held here at Harvard University at the Radcliffe Institute uh, in April. Uh, and these papers served as the foundation uh, of the conference. It was just a fabulous uh, program from every possible uh, perspective. I think educational experience for the students invaluable, an opportunity for all the policymakers and government officials to meet and for the people from I Pakistan to meet the people facing some of the same issues in the Mississippi, people from the Colorado talking to people uh, from the San Francisco uh, in Brazil, the people from the Colorado talking uh, to the people from the Murray Darling uh, in Australia for two days, uh, and the students in the midst of, uh, of it all. I think one of the most important uh, results uh, and products of this with the students themselves. The, the students were able to connect. Uh, they were able to connect with these decision makers to make uh, networks for themselves. And I think that a lot of us feel, I know that I do, um, Professor Jody Freeman here on the faculty, we work very closely with John Briscoe on the faculty of the engineering school. Uh, our hope is that one of the most important things that results from this is we're going to inspire some folks. Uh, years from now, some of the students who worked on this project uh, they're going to be the future leaders. Uh, they're going to be out there in different parts of the world. And, and our students from, from all over the world, they weren't just from the United States, uh, they're going to be the future leaders working on these basins. And if we inspire just a few, uh, that's going to mean an awful lot.